Today, I want to dive into five productivity applications that are being hyped up right now in the productivity space. I want to talk through my opinions on them all and give you some thoughts of whether they have any legs for the future. If you're brand new to this channel, welcome. My name's Francesca and welcome to Keep Productive. If you fancy subscribing, you can hit below. And a big, big thank you today for ClickUp for sponsoring today's feature. If you haven't checked ClickUp out yet, it's a project management software that is fast, flexible, and reliable. And it provides you with a pretty flexible way to set any of your team situations set up and you can find it in the link in the description as well as our brand new channel keep productive with ClickUp. so let's dive into these five i've got a medium article below if you did want to read a bit more in depth about this let's start with moot now moot is an interesting one it's calling itself a real-time multiplayer collaborative experience for teams and it's really interesting in, in how they've done it um, but currently it's only a sort of book a demo experience that you can get started with it's not like sign up and get started straight away but basically i described it as base camp and Miro having a baby in terms of the fact that you've got whiteboard abilities but you can also manage your calendar your check-ins other apps maps it's very weird in the sense of what they're trying to do is merge personal organization with work organization with these blocks that you can add so i think it's a really interesting approach to the way things are being done right now do i think it has legs for the future quite potentially but it'd be interesting to see how they do it other applications have tried this approach and haven't really become as mainstream in the past uh, apps like millenotes have done this but not as successful. So it'd be interesting to see how this progresses as the application grows and fine tunes itself. Next up is Reflect 2. Now, actually, when I was looking at this the other day, I was going, wow, this application is trying to come after the Obsidian Romy type audience, but also trying to attack the mem type audience, which is a fairly newer application. But basically what it does is it organizes your notes with your calendar and more recently they've added the ability to coordinate tasks which is still currently in beta but this application is quite interesting because like mem it has the complexity of obsidian and rome probably about 70 percent of that but it also has the friendliness and the approach that many people will like that um, evernote and other applications have successed in the past so i really think reflect has an interesting space in the market and it seems like they've developed the application fairly well I'm yet to fully fully check it out but i'm interested in how this application is going to explore especially with this market becoming very interesting let's just say that the sort of bi-directional linking space next up is glass i was able to check glass out more recently and basically it's like a highlighter type experience that essentially when you hover over the the browser and you're like clipping something. What it does is it clips it, but allows you to add public highlights or notes and allows you to almost create yourself a profile on things that you're sharing or ideas that you've seen or quotes that you've had or like just things that are inspiring you at the moment. So it's almost like the whole capturing thoughts and adding notes to them, but in a much more social setting. And I'm really interested in how this works. So I've got a review of Glass coming out soon so you can check that out. But I actually am very interested. I reviewed an app a few years ago called Memex, which was really impressive. And I liked the way that they did stuff, but they were quite aggressive on the capture of history. Whereas Glass seems like they're making it more about the social side of sharing some of your highlights that you capture. So I think this will be quite interesting in the future. Next up is Raycast. Raycast is a way for you to use a command bar, but in a more of a productivity sense. There have been apps in the past like Command E and many more that have basically, what they've done is they've allowed you to capture stuff really quickly using a command bar function and access other different Mac and other software applications that are on your device. But this one really hones in on the connecting your calendar, connecting your tasks, connecting other applications, and really being this morph experience of all of the consolidation that you need. So I'm, I'm really interested to see how Raycast works. I'm fully testing it very soon, so I'll be interested to see how it works, but um, an impressive entry to the productivity space, 
that uh, they've really been ramping up over the last year for sure. Next up is Logseek. I believe that's how you pronounce it. It's an Obsidian competitor that's also growing in the market and a lot of people finding it very tough to choose between Logseek and Obsidian as a quite high level applications. I've done a full video with Dario De Silva who's an expert on Logseek that you can find in the link in the description about how to get started but a lot of people finding it pretty decent. Logseek adding something called Logseek Sync recently which will help, well, soon to be announced fully, but they're, what they're doing is they're gonna plan to take on Obsidian Sync in the sense that you can back up your notes online as well too. So I'm interested to see how this, all these five applications play out in the next couple of months. I've got my eye very closely on Raycast, Moot, and probably Reflect as well as the sort of big players, I'd say. But the other two, very interesting to see how they're progressing for sure. Anyway, folks, I hope you enjoyed today's feature. Make sure to check out ClickUp in the link in the description. Uh, they've got a, a 3 volt load update coming soon, so you can find out a bit more about that below. Um, and also check out Keep Productive with ClickUp too. Thank you so much for stopping by, and I look forward to seeing you in a future video. Thank you very much, folks, and I'll see you soon.